Fishbane alongside Arthur Arkish here from Bourbon A. And on Thursday night, we'll be at Soldier Field for the Bears' preseason opener against the Miami Dolphins. And Arthur, we can finally watch the Bears hit another team. We can finally see them play in a game at Soldier Field. Uh, let's start on the defensive side of the ball. Who are some of the players you're going to be watching? Well, you know, I'm fascinated to see a couple of guys fighting for starting jobs. Brock Vereen, the safeties you need to be able to evaluate in a live game setting. Eddie Goldman, the rookie, starting to kind of move up, it seems, a little bit. But it'll, we'll see what he, you know, gets a chance to show that physical when it matters most. So those would be two guys to keep an eye on. Yeah, so watching the safety is going to be key. I think we're all going to want to see the 3-4 defense, but we can both agree that Vic Fangio is not going to show us everything. Right. Speaking of that defense, though, such a battle at inside linebacker, and i got to imagine uh, the, the Bears coaches are going to be looking forward to see how they factor in in the preseason game. Yeah, it's another position you need to be able to evaluate in games. We've seen Shane McClellan and Christian Jones firmly with the first team. Mason Foster and John Bosick, don't write them off yet. It's a lot of people uh, had great expectations for them coming into the season. This is their chance to try and shine and show what they can do. Yeah, on the offensive side of the ball, a, a lot fewer questions. You know, we know pretty much who the starting offense is. I will point out Jordan Mills, you know, he still looks like he's going to be the first team right tackle for the season, uh, but he's got to play well in the preseason like everybody does. Uh, and then, you know, running backs, Jeremy Langford, Kadeem Carey, Daniel Thomas, Shaquiz Rogers, uh, tight end situation, wide receivers. Is there anybody on the offensive side of the ball that you're kind of curious to see? Because, you know, again, there's not a ton of question marks on that side. Well, you did say Mills. That's a huge one. One of his worst games of the year last year, struggle with Cameron Wake. We'll see how he's able to acquit himself. And then you said it, the backup running back battle is wide open right now. We imagine Jeremy Langford as the new regime's guy is going to be in there, but Daniel Thomas has been turning some heads down here. Jaquiz Rogers, a guy that you know they spent in free agency on. So uh, other guys are going to have a chance to establish themselves. We won't see much of Matt Forte, if any at all. Remember Zach Miller last year in the first preseason game was such an important part of the Bears. Everyone got excited, then he has the injury. He's fighting for a roster spot, so keep an eye on the backup tight ends. We'll finish with this, Arthur's special teams. It's always such a crucial part of putting this roster together. It's where some of these young guys can really make a name for themselves. We don't know exactly who's going to be on some of those special teams units, but there's any, are there anybody, uh, any line Linebackers, safeties, corners, wide receivers, running backs that you think fans should kind of watch in the kick coverage units? All I'll say is that you should watch closely because those are the guys, if you're wondering who's at the bottom of this roster, who's fighting for spots, pay close attention to who's on the special teams, who's got those key outside jobs, and just who fills out the units because that's who you'll be wondering about. Bostic, Foster, I think they're both guys that would fit in there. Some of the corners, Al Lewis, Gene, and Demontre Hurst, do they fit into the equation? They're going to have to be able to help on special teams. Well, next time you hear from us, we'll actually have a Bears game to talk about, albeit a preseason one, but still, it's a little more fun to talk about the games. For Arthur, I'm Kevin. For all the best Bears preseason coverage, stick right here at ChicagoFootball.com.